It's, it's a yeah. first alert weather day. We've got a lot of rain uh, hitting the Bay Area. How's it looking right now and what areas are most impacted? Yeah, I'm about to show that right now on the live satellite and radar. It's a very active morning for us today. Let's start off with that frontal system, though. On the first alert Doppler this morning, a live look at some of those heavier showers that are starting to pop up just into the North Bay. I'm going to zoom into street level so you can get a good idea based on where you live, where the storm is actually tracking. Now, just off near St. Helena, we're starting to see some heavier pockets of showers, especially off just south of Bodega Bay, all the way into San Rafael, even Mill Valley. So that commute just north of the bridge, it's looking pretty, pretty slick. Be cautious out there if you're waking up and about to head out to the city. As we take a quick look just into the South Bay, now things are a little bit lighter. San Jose is about to get hit with some heavy showers, but for now we're still staying dry with just those deep, dark clouds right over us. This is a live look at San Francisco. Drizzly conditions for us waking up this morning. It's a strong fr cold front, but I will say this. Once it pushes through, we're really just left with lighter winds and cold temperatures and really, really, really dense air. Now, current wind gust right now sitting anywhere from 20 to 35, even 40 miles per hour here in the Bay Area. We were talking about it earlier. Amanda driving across the Bay Bridge was white knuckling it. Same with our friends even along the Pacifica area heading north. Windy conditions are going to continue to develop as we head into the morning hours. It starts dying down around 11, even noon. Look at that huge shift. The winds continue to track off into the east. We're left with lighter conditions here in the Bay Area. So we're catching a break after the system in the morning. We're actually going to see drier conditions tonight and into Friday. But once we head into the weekend, more rain returns into the forecast. And if you've been thinking about weekend plans and you probably want to head out to the Tahoe area, be very cautious. They're still dealing with that winter storm warning. Gusty conditions up there and plenty of snow to go around, especially as we head into that next system pushing in into this weekend. They're expecting anywhere up to 60 inches of snow just near Kirkwood. So an impressive storm nonetheless, and we do need the rain, and of course we need the snow too, but it does pose a threat during these morning commute hours. That's the big reason why we issued this first alert weather day. They will continue to see this as we head into the morning hours. It dies down into the afternoon, but we'll continue to track those hit or miss showers tonight. By Friday, we're left with cold, chilly temperatures no matter where you live, whether you're in San Francisco or even for our friends in the North Bay or Inland East Bay too. We'll keep you updated, but for now, over to you.